So, I've been sim racing for six years and I've never played Automobilista 1 or Automobilista 2. And today I am going to change that. So this morning I thought I'll wake up and I'll buy AMS2. It was like $34.99 just because it's a, it's a sim that's always talked about. It's a sim that's got some fairly good reviews through the grapevine. A lot of people say it's got good physics. It's quite a fun sim to play and I've just never had the reason to play it. I've, there's never really been any esports on it. I've never, I've just never got around to it really. So that's what we're doing today. As you probably guessed by the title, AMS2, let's see what the fuss is about. But before I do that, a little sip of the Yorkshire tea. Oh, oh yeah. First of all, leave a like, sub to the channel if you enjoy the video. We're gonna just have a look at the game, do some laps, see how the physics feel, and then do a couple of races at the end and see how we go. So single race, championship, multiplayer. I didn't even know there was a multiplayer on this. Is it busy? It's quite busy. It's a lot of servers. That could be something to get into on, on a live stream in the future is do some like open lobbies on there or something like that. Test day, official events, and then time trial. So. I have spent a couple of hours this morning setting it up because it's a boring video if, if I spend the first half hour setting things up, you know. I did have an issue actually where my Heising belt pedals weren't registering until I restarted my PC and then they registered, which was a bit weird. But now I'm fully set up. I'm running the graphics on maximum because this PC allows me to, so why not? And I just wanna, I wanna make this as immersive as I can because I've heard the physics, especially on AMS1, are very good. However, this, I mean, this first of all, this is basically, from what I've heard, a copy and paste of Project Cars 2. Project Cars 2 was the first ever sim or game, if you, if you wanna call it a game, I ever played uh, 2018 that's sort of what got me into sim racing so I'm very interested to see how similar it is to that but let's start off TT I've chosen brands because it's one of my favorite tracks in the AMG because I'm an AMG driver and let's see how we go so I did a I did one lap earlier you can my covers broke 25-0 uh, and the world records are 22-6 but I think the Porsche is quicker from what I've seen the leaderboards, it was the Porsche that was the OP car. So setups, we've got basic and advanced mode. All your standard stuff, really. Brake pressure on 90 seems a bit weird. It should be on 100, I guess. Nothing new here. Just your standard in-depth setup. Yeah, I just want to get a little feel. First of all, let me down this cupper. Oh my God, that's hot. Oh my God. That was not a good idea. As I, as I said, I did one lap earlier, but I didn't really get a massive feel for anything, so this is the true first test. Um, I'm running my iRacing Simicube profile, because out of all the ones I tried, it just gave me the, the most feedback, so... I'm playing a lot of iRacing at the moment as well, so it's quite a direct comparison I can do there. The first thing I, I notice is, like, off the bat, it looks like Project Cars 2. The overlays, the HUDs, the, the, it does look very similar to that game from memory back in the day. The feeling... Um, it's, it's, it's a bit it's weird. Again, it, it reminds me a bit of Project Cars 2, the feeling, where it's like... I don't really know how to explain it, to be fair to you. I feel like I have to push the car a lot on entry. Coasting isn't a good thing. So like, I'm going to set a course so you can sort of coast the car through the corner sometimes. On here, it doesn't seem like that's the way to go. It seems like you just need to absolutely abuse the front slip angle. Almost drift the car through the corner in a way. It, 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 it does feel quite connected at the same time. Let's do a few laps here. Let's see, first of all, how close we can get to that world record. And second of all, just get a, a true feel for how the game feels, because doing one lap is never fair. You never really gather enough information in one lap. You see there, the car sort of... It's quite happy drifting and rotating really aggressively. When a set of course, you wouldn't really get that. Or high racing, you definitely wouldn't get that. 
The audio sounds quite nice, quite like detailed. There's a weird whine. I guess that's trying to be the gearbox, maybe. But uh, overall, I quite like the audio, actually. It's not too bad. It's worth saying as well, I'm running basically everything on default from setup to audio settings to I'm, I'm, I'm running the graphic settings on maximum oh bit wider and I'm getting 160 FPS I've got the ultra wide monitor so that's going to take some frames away but still not bad max settings 170 FPS What's this going to be? It's a 23.9, okay. I'm guessing my tyres and stuff are resetting over the line given it's time trial. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. It's a weird feeling on the, the entries, like... It feels like you need to get the car sideways and sort of control it from there and slide your way through the corner, but while sliding, not engaging the TC, which to me, it's not really how a GT car or a GT3 car should be driven, to be honest. But it is sort of fun at the same time. It's, it's quite weird. I mean, for those of you that play AMS2 and, you, you know, for those of you that are well practiced on it, you're probably thinking, what am I doing right now? But bear in mind, this is my fourth lap on the game, so there's going to be... I'm not going to be driving it correctly. Just driving how I drive and seeing how it is. Oh, see, again, it's like... We're probably going in too hot there, to be fair. But I like the HUD. It gives you quite a lot of information. I always like the project cars too hard to be fair. TC I think is way too high. Given that the you know in pretty much every sim now, TC off or TC on a very low setting is the way to go. Um, I'd imagine it's the same here as well. But we'll stick with default. I just want to try and get a low 23. For my ego. My massive ego. So weird, man. The way the car rotated there. Herbs don't really seem that aggressive either. You can sort of just drive over them, to be honest. bit deep in the last corner there. 23.4. Just seems like you have to drive super aggressively. Ooh, nice. Got a lot of time in this next corner as well. So we went on the grass last lap. There we go. Low 23. Happy days. Are the tyres resetting? I don't think they are, actually. No, I don't think they are. Right, anyway, 23-1. Half a second off world record. I don't think this is the quickest car. I think the Porsche, as we'll see in a minute on the leaderboard, was the OP car. All right, listen. In six laps, or whatever that was, I will take that. Oi, P8 on the leaderboard. Look at that. Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. Merc, what can I say? That was all right. That was not too bad. I, I think, honestly, I can I can feel from those eight laps that the driving style required for this game suits me. Because my, when I first got into sim racing, it was on Project Cars 2. So my first impressions of a sim 
were the physics that PCARS 2 used. And I got naturally so used to it, whether it's like realistic or not, which is probably not, I got used to it. So I could I could feel it then that all the sliding and the way you push the entries and stuff, that, that it suits me. Suit you, sir. But I don't think it is, I mean, definitely not in a GT car. You don't drive a GT car like that. You know, your AC and ACCs are gonna be more realistic in that sense, I think. But still enjoyable though. It's still, um, it looks it looks pretty nice as well. Sounds pretty nice. The physics for the GT3 there weren't great, but what can you do? So you've got in GT3 McLaren, Porsche, Nissan, Beamer. Got loads of different cars here. Trucks. Yeah. A three Formula Classic. Is that like a Formula Jedi or something? Formula Junior, like an old Brabham or something. 2010s F1 car right there, some old F1 cars, Formula Ford, it's like a modern day F1 car. Some, yeah, that's a slower version, I guess. Early 2000s F1 car, go karting. A little rental car. Get some practicing before I go down the local track with my mate. Oh, it's loads of, loads of cars, isn't there? Minis, LMP cars. They are some strange looking cars, though, aren't they? Porsche Cup. Stock cars, V8, supercar. So yeah, you're not you're not short of options. So I think next, let's get into a race. So I've got it set up. I, what I've set up is the basically the Formula One car at Monaco, five lap race. I did hear actually that this version of Monaco is laser scanned. I think that's pretty cool. I've not I don't think I've ever seen a laser scan version of Monaco in any sim before. Let's quickly whack the AI skill level up going to get my pants pulled down probably but that's all right so i'm going to do this and then i think i might go and try a wet race just to see what the wet physics look like and feel like yeah some b-tech f1 drivers in there in there right So I've got ERS as well, but I'm not going to change that for the minute. It's probably the least of my worries. It's going to be a mission, I think, just to survive around here. Whoa! Oh dear. Oh no! We're going to have big wing damage, I think. So let's start again. I've got to say, it looks good. Like, it does look really good. I wonder how, oh, sorry. Probably broke my front wing again. Oh my God. Oh, why? To be fair, he left a good amount of racing room there. Right. We survived. Does feel a bit strange. Like, feels like the grip. I don't know, it just loads the tire up in a really weird way, I think. So it's five lap race, we've got a mandatory pit stop, so I think we'll do the overcut, hoping that they box this lap. I hope the AI know they've got to make a pit stop, otherwise I'm going to finish last. Oh, I went for a move there, that wouldn't have worked. It's too tight. It's definitely single file through that. Such an itchy nose, oh my god. It's the wrong place to get that. Lovely. Ooh. 
I'll, I'll be honest, this it's not easy. This is not an easy, it's not like a plug and play sim. Like I'm having to really focus just to keep it on the track. Oh, he's boxing. The AI, to be fair, seemed quite good, quite raceable. What do we reckon? Do him on the brakes here. Yes. Oh! Oh no. Let's box this lap. I think we're going to probably have damage here as well. Come on. Oh, there's a ghost in. Which one's mine? Oh my god. Okay, a small bit of damage there, but it's like half a second. That looked good though, like all the pit crew looked really good there. Oh my god. We're 14th at the minute. I'm guessing it didn't give us tyres or fuel. Don't think we need that in a five lap race. Oh, oh my god. I think we might. It's a risky move from here, though. Right, next lap is the last lap, so I keep forgetting it's such a short race. The AI are just really weak on the brakes. Oh, no! Oh, we've got DRS down there as well. Yes. Let's do that again, because we can do it better. And I did not realise we had DRS. So let's try that again. Oh no. I'm being rammed into the wall. Tell you what, I'm gonna box on the first lap. Get a nice undercut. Probably got a little bit of damage there as well. Box, box. Okay, a bit less carnage in the pit lane this time around as well. Yeah, a little bit of repairs. Half a second there. Nothing. All right, let's get a good undercut. That was a good first lap, though. Oh, no. Okay, we'll take a track limit cut for that. That was a bad one. Oh, my God. Just feel out of control everywhere. All right, two laps to go. We're not using the DRS again. God, I carried a lot of speed through there. It's probably an element of the AI, like in most games, are really quick somewhere and then really slow in other places. Although this guy's just dropping me, to be fair.
proper using the gears to rotate the car because otherwise it seems a bit understeery. There we go, DRS. Finally used it. Oh my god. What an experience this is. Where are we? P5, that's not too bad actually. I think we, if we actually drove properly here, we might be able to make a move, but I'm just trying to hang on to be honest. I wanted to get really close before this bit, but it was worth the risk. But I'm in the wall, and now I have to nurse it home for P5, cooldown lap active. So the leader, sort of two seconds between every car. So, yeah, I think obviously with some practice and driving properly and stuff, comfortably should be quicker than the AI, even the hardest difficulty. So, again, very similar to other sims. Let's try wet. wet. Clear, light cloud, medium cloud, heavy cloud, overcast, light rain, rain, storm, thunderstorm. Okay, let's try thunderstorm. And we need to remember to select wet tires if they have, if they have wet tires, which they should do. But so far, I can understand why people play this. It, it's got quite a lot in it. I don't know if I'm sold on the physics. So yeah, it's got enough in there to warrant me playing it again. Let's have a look here. So, automatic by weather, okay. So we should be all right. Is the brake still good? Yeah. So we should be on wets. Okay. Let's try this. Oh my God. Force feedback's really light. That's nothing new when it goes wet in sim racing. It does get rid of your FFP a bit. What the? The AI are just checked out. Oh my god. Mate, this is. I've got no grip. No grip. Let me go minimum ERS, get a bit more traction. If I got the inside, I won't make the corner, so you have to wait here. Mm. Maybe up the inside, nope. Oh my god. At least the tunnel's dry, that's good. Yeah, the AI are just cracked in these conditions. Oh no! Oh my! Sorry. Oh, big shunt, big shunt. Oh. Thousands of tears later. Oh my god. I'm last now. Bruh. Just survive. Just need to survive. I'm gonna, I want to see if I undercut anyone in the pits by box on the first lap. I want to see if my genuine pace here is as bad as it seems, which I think it is. AI just, AI just have too much traction. Too much grip. I'm sat here aquaplaning and they're just driving like they're on slicks in the dry. Oh my god. Do you know what? It's actually... It's actually undrivable. Ah, oh, look at the repair, man. Oh.
Okay, but well, it's, it's, it's interesting to see like the differences between the wet and the dry. And I still think it's, the dry line is quicker, which is probably, yeah, sometimes it is quicker in real life on the dry line, but generally it's, it's quicker offline. And it does feel like there's just as much grip on the dry line as there is offline. So it, it feels like the wet physics on RF2 or ACC, to be honest. Oh. I'm probably in the wrong car to be just jumping in and trying it out, you know? Literally the quickest car on the game. Oh, just no grip at all. Yeah, that, that'll do, that'll do. I think overall I'm actually like, it's good enough for me to play again. I'd quite like to do some live on Twitch, you know, try and get some world records, uh, join some servers, maybe host a server, do some like public lobbies, try some different combos out. I mean, maybe I didn't try the best combos there, or I, I found in Project Cars 2 that some cars felt good, but also some cars felt really, really bad. So maybe I chose mods there that didn't feel that great. But it'd be good to know in the comments below if you let me know what cars do feel good. Uh, I can always try them out as well. But I think that's it. I think, yeah, Automobilista 2. Overall, it's good. I think the physics seem a bit strange to me. I, I, I definitely prefer a set of Corsa, even ACC, compared to this. But yeah, I think that's it. So let me know in the comments below what you think of Automobilista 2. I will love you or leave you for now. Le Mans Ultimate comes out very soon, by the way, so get ready for some content on that. Can't wait to give that a go and see what it's like. A lot of hype around that game, so hope it delivers. But uh, leave a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and I'll see you on a video very soon. Ciao for now.